The adversary, often referred to as the devil, harbors a deep aversion to the success and prosperity of any individual chosen by God. Consequently, he employs a myriad of cunning strategies to derail and harm them. The Bible vividly illustrates this by comparing the devil to a ravenous lion prowling around, seeking whom he may devour. As a believer, it is imperative to be well-versed in recognizing his deceitful tactics. There are specific signs which, when observed in your life, should prompt you to take swift and decisive action to counteract these spiritual attacks. In today's video, I will be unveiling the signs indicative of spiritual attacks. Additionally, you will gain insights into the necessary steps to thwart these attacks effectively. You must watch this video to the very end to fully comprehend the divine messages and instructions that the Lord is imparting to you. Before we proceed, I urge you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Spiritual attacks are essentially struggles, obstacles, and battles that manifest in the spiritual realm instigated by the enemy. These attacks are not confined to the spiritual dimension but can have tangible effects on the physical body and soul. Although these challenges originate in the spirit, their repercussions are often visible in one's external life. It is essential to understand that spiritual attacks are not orchestrated by God or his angels. They are the sinister machinations of the forces of darkness and the devil himself. As a chosen child of God, you are inherently targeted by the devil, making you his prime adversary. Thus, no believer is immune to spiritual attacks. The scripture in Luke 10, 19 reassures us, stating, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. While this promise holds, it is crucial to grasp that these signs of spiritual attacks are often subtle and do not manifest as literal snakes and scorpions. The devil cunningly exploits a believer's weaknesses to launch an assault on their soul. If the believer is not vigilant in discerning, they risk being overpowered by the enemy well before their physical demise. So what are the telltale signs that the enemy is launching an attack against you due to your status as one of the Lord's chosen? In the forthcoming sections of this video, we will delve deeply into these signs and provide you with the knowledge and tools to recognize and combat these spiritual threats. Stay with us to equip yourself with the understanding necessary to stand firm against the enemy's schemes. Number 1. Nonchalant Attitude Towards Spiritual Things When the devil aims to ensnare a person's soul, his initial tactic is to create a rift between that individual and God. This partition is often subtle but highly effective. He understands that once God is removed from the equation, the soul becomes significantly more vulnerable to his influence and attacks. Thus, when you begin to feel a sense of fatigue or disinterest in spiritual activities such as prayer, evangelism, or fasting, recognize this as a crucial warning sign that the devil is targeting you. This feeling of lethargy is not a mere coincidence, but a deliberate strategy by the devil to weaken your spiritual resolve and diminish your enthusiasm for God. The devil is acutely aware that as your passion and dedication to God intensify, you become a formidable threat to his kingdom. A believer who is on fire for God can wreak unimaginable havoc on the devil's plans. Therefore, the devil's goal is to prevent that by any means necessary. This is why it is crucial to remain vigilant and steadfast in your spiritual practices. To counteract this, always be on guard and committed to prayer. Vigilance in your spiritual life means not allowing any gaps or lapses in your relationship with God. Distractions will inevitably come, but it is your responsibility to stay focused on your eternal purpose. The devil will persistently launch his arrows of distraction and discouragement, aiming to weaken your resolve and draw you away from God. However, you must stand firm and use the shield of faith to protect yourself from these attacks. Maintaining a strong connection with God and a disciplined spiritual life is essential in fortifying yourself against the devil's schemes. Continuous prayer is vital, not just in times of need, but as a regular practice to keep your spirit aligned with God's will. 
Regular study of the Word of God deepens your understanding and strengthens your faith, making you less susceptible to the devil's deceptions. Additionally, active participation in your faith community provides support, encouragement, and accountability, helping you stay spiritually engaged and motivated. Remember, the devil's primary objective is to weaken your resolve and separate you from God. Recognizing the signs of spiritual lethargy is the first step in defending yourself against his attacks. When you notice a decline in your enthusiasm for spiritual activities, take immediate action, recommit yourself to prayer, immerse yourself in the word, and seek fellowship with other believers. By doing so, you reinforce your defenses and ensure that your passion for God remains strong and unwavering. Number two, lack of resources. While a lack of resources can stem from various factors, it is sometimes a deliberate attack from the enemy. The devil may strip you of your resources in an attempt to force you to compromise your faith and devotion to God. When you find yourself in a difficult situation where you must choose between God and material wealth, understand that the devil is waging a war against your soul. He often exploits your desires and necessities identifying what you value most and using it as a weapon against you. By depriving you of these essential resources, he tests your resolve to see if you will still stand firm in your faith. At this critical juncture, you need God's help to navigate the challenges and emerge victorious. A preacher once wisely noted that there are two times when you are most vulnerable to temptation, when you have nothing and when you have everything. This statement holds profound truth. When you begin to lose your resources, recognize that the devil is trying to measure your steadfastness and faith in God. It is crucial to disappoint him by remaining true to your convictions and your faith. During times of scarcity, it's essential to stay rooted in prayer and maintain your trust in God's provision. Remember the promise in Philippians 4.19? and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. Trusting in God's faithfulness and provision, even in the face of loss, demonstrates your unwavering faith and confounds the devil's plans. Additionally, seek support from your faith community. Sharing your struggles with trusted friends and spiritual mentors can encourage practical help and spiritual reinforcement. Sometimes God uses the people around us to meet our needs and remind us of his constant care. Moreover, use these challenging times as opportunities to deepen your reliance on God. Often, it is through our greatest struggles that we experience the most profound spiritual growth. By trusting God in scarcity, you build a stronger, more resilient faith that can withstand any attack from the enemy. Number three, physical fatigue. What does a spiritual attack have to do with physical fatigue? Quite a lot. A healthy body is essential for engaging in spiritual activities. When the devil attacks your body, you may find yourself feeling constantly weak and exhausted, even after resting. If this chronic fatigue becomes a pattern in your life, it could be a sign that the enemy is trying to sap your energy and enthusiasm for spiritual pursuits. By making you physically tired, the devil aims to diminish your passion for God. The devil can also keep you so preoccupied and busy that you become too worn out to engage in spiritual practices like reading the Bible or praying. When you are physically exhausted, your prayers may become mere whispers before you drift off to sleep, lacking the fervor and intentionality needed for a strong spiritual connection. The Bible provides a poignant illustration of this in the parable where it says, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. The sleep can be both physical and spiritual. When you are fatigued, you are more likely to sleep, reducing the time and energy you have for spiritual activities. Conversely, if you are not feeling weak, you might spend that time with God or engage in productive endeavors. Thus, persistent physical fatigue can be a manifestation of a spiritual attack. When you encounter this kind of fatigue, remember the promise found in Isaiah 40, 28, 29. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. 
He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. God is never weary, and he offers his strength to those who are exhausted. Look to him for the strength and renewal you need when physical fatigue overwhelms you. To combat this, prioritize your physical health alongside your spiritual health. Ensure you are getting enough rest, eating well, and exercising regularly. These practices can help mitigate physical fatigue. Additionally, be mindful of your schedule and avoid overcommitting yourself to the point of exhaustion. In times of weariness, make a conscious effort to turn to God for rejuvenation. Pray for strength, meditate on scripture, and take moments of quiet reflection to recharge your spirit. Surround yourself with a supportive community that can pray for you and encourage you when you feel weak. In summary, physical fatigue can be a significant indicator of a spiritual attack aimed at reducing your passion and engagement with God. Recognize these signs and actively seek God's strength and support to overcome them. By maintaining both your physical and spiritual well-being, you can stand resilient against the enemy's attempts to undermine your faith. Number four, weak prayer life. A weak prayer life is not merely a symptom of losing interest in spiritual matters. It is a critical aspect of a person's spiritual journey. Prayer is not a mundane activity that can be performed mechanically. Rather, it requires the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Thus, when you begin to view prayer as burdensome or find yourself avoiding it altogether, it is a clear indication that you are under attack from the enemy. Your reluctance to engage in prayer signifies a disconnect from the Holy Spirit who empowers and guides your spiritual life. The enemy's primary aim is to disrupt this connection and render you spiritually vulnerable. He accomplishes this by introducing distractions into your life, diverting your attention away from God, and causing your prayer life to wane. Once the enemy succeeds in distracting you, you may find yourself walking in the flesh rather than in the spirit, and your prayer altar grows cold as a result. This is a dangerous state for any believer to be in. When you experience fatigue or disinterest in prayer, it is imperative to recognize it as a spiritual attack and take immediate action. Cry out to God for help and ask the Holy Spirit to reignite the fire of prayer within you. Allow Him to lift your spirit and renew your passion for communing with God. Remember, prayer is not just a religious ritual. It is the lifeline of your relationship with God. It is through prayer that you draw near to Him seek his guidance, and experience his presence in your life. To combat a weak prayer life, prioritize spending time in prayer and cultivate a habit of seeking God's face daily. Set aside dedicated moments for prayer, free from distractions, and pour out your heart to God. Engage in heartfelt worship and intercession, allowing the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you in your prayers. Additionally, Seek accountability and support from fellow believers who can encourage and pray for you. Surround yourself with a community of faith that can uplift you and spur you on in your spiritual journey. Number five, feeling overwhelmed, confused, and helpless. A spirit-filled individual operates with clarity and purpose, guided by the divine direction of God. When faced with challenges, they confidently turn to God for guidance, knowing that He will provide the answers they seek. However, when the enemy launches a spiritual attack, feelings of fear, anxiety, and confusion can overwhelm even the strongest believer. Instead of being anchored in divine direction, they find themselves adrift in a sea of uncertainty, unsure of what steps to take in difficult situations. This sense of helplessness is a tactic employed by the devil to isolate and deceive the believers, making them believe they are alone and abandoned by God. If you find yourself trapped in this reality, it is a clear indication that the enemy has targeted you. You may find yourself consumed by worry and despair, focusing more on the problems in your life than on God's promises and provision. However, this should not be the primary preoccupation of a believer. Instead of succumbing to fear and doubt, 
You should be steadfast in your trust in God, knowing that He is faithful to His promises. The burden placed on your heart by the enemy is designed to erode your faith and rob you of the blessings and breakthroughs that are rightfully yours. It is crucial to remain vigilant and discerning, recognizing these signs of spiritual attack for what they are. Do not allow the enemy to cheat you out of the abundant life that God has promised you. Instead, cling to the assurance found in Psalms 121, 7, 8. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. This verse reminds us that God is ever-present, watching over us and protecting us from harm. Therefore, refuse to give in to fear and anxiety. Instead, anchor your faith in God's unfailing love and provision. Turn to Him in prayer, seeking His guidance and strength in every situation. Trust in His promises and rest assured that He is with you always, guarding and guiding you through life's challenges. With God by your side, you can face any adversity with courage and confidence, knowing that He will never leave you nor forsake you. Number 6. The Resurrection of Your Old Habits and Lifestyle when you become born again, you confess your sins and renounce your old ways. You begin to, when you experience the transformative power of being born again, you embark on a journey of renewal, forsaking your former ways and embracing a life guided by God's commandments. This newfound spiritual rebirth should shape your existence until your last breath. However, if you suddenly find yourself reverting to your old habits and lifestyles, it is a clear indication that the enemy has launched an attack on your soul. This regression doesn't occur overnight. Rather, it often creeps in subtly through wrong relationships or the re-engagement of past activities. Before you realize it, you find yourself ensnared once again in the patterns of behavior you had previously renounced. The devil rejoices at this turn of events because he knows that this regression will weaken your spiritual resolve and render you more susceptible to his attacks. If you observe this unsettling resurrection of old habits and lifestyles in your life, it is imperative to swiftly return to the mercy seat of God. This setback is not your final destination. It is merely a temporary attack, and Jesus stands ready to deliver you from its grip. No matter how deeply entrenched you may feel in your old ways, God's redeeming power is greater still. He can lift you from the depths of despair and restore you to your position as a beloved child of God. Take refuge in the assurance found in Romans 6.6. 6. For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. Through Christ's sacrifice, we have been freed from the bondage of our old selves, empowered to live victoriously by God's will. Therefore, do not despair in the face of this spiritual attack. Instead, cling to the hope and promise of redemption offered by Christ. Seek His forgiveness, His strength, and His guidance as you navigate the challenges of overcoming your old habits and embracing the new life He has prepared for you. With God's grace and mercy, you can triumph over the enemy's schemes and experience the fullness of spiritual renewal and restoration. Number 7. Distancing yourself from godly relationships. When you are filled with the life of Christ, you naturally gravitate towards fellowship with fellow believers. You find joy in gathering with them for love feasts, engaging in Bible study, and joining in heartfelt prayers. These activities become not burdensome duties, but cherished expressions of the Holy Spirit's presence within you. However, when you start to struggle with attending these gatherings, preferring to spend time on social media or other distractions instead, it is a clear sign that the enemy is targeting your soul. The devil understands that the more you distance yourself from godly relationships and spiritual community, the more vulnerable you become to his attacks. He knows that isolation weakens your spiritual defenses and disconnects you from the sources of strength and encouragement found within the body of Christ. Therefore, he subtly sows seeds of apathy and indifference towards fellowship, leading you to prioritize worldly distractions over nurturing your spiritual connections. 
If you find yourself drifting away from godly relationships and neglecting opportunities for spiritual growth and accountability, it is crucial to recognize this as a spiritual attack and take decisive action. Rather than succumbing to the enemy's tactics, make a conscious effort to re-engage with your spiritual community and seek the fellowship of fellow believers. Remember the wisdom found in Ecclesiastes 4, 9, 10. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. There is safety and strength and unity within the body of Christ. By actively participating in godly relationships and staying connected to your spiritual family, you fortify yourself against the enemy's attempts to isolate and deceive you. Number eight, struggling to fulfill God's calling for your life. Each person has a unique purpose on earth, a divine calling that becomes evident upon surrendering one's life to Christ. As you embrace this calling, empowered by the Holy Spirit, you embark on a journey of fulfilling God's plan for your life. This journey should be characterized by a sense of alignment and ease as you walk in step with God's guidance and provision. However, the enemy is discontent with your progress and endeavors to derail you from fulfilling your calling. The devil understands that if you continue steadfastly on the path of your calling, you will become a powerful instrument in God's hands, advancing his kingdom and impacting lives for his glory. Thus, he employs various strategies to hinder your progress and instigate struggles that impede your fulfillment of God's purpose for your life. One tactic the enemy employs is enticing you towards sin, thereby creating barriers between you and your calling. For example, if God has called you to preach the gospel, the devil may tempt you with secret sins that tarnish your credibility and hinder your effectiveness in ministry. Furthermore, the enemy may orchestrate financial difficulties or obstacles that hinder your ability to pursue and fulfill your calling. These challenges may delay or impede your access to resources and opportunities essential for fulfilling your destiny. If you are called to pastoral ministry, the devil may veil your ministry, hindering its visibility and impact on souls. The intensity of these attacks may reach such levels that you feel overwhelmed and on the verge of giving up on your assignment. However, it is crucial not to succumb to despair or resignation. Instead, turn to God in fervent prayer, seeking His intervention and deliverance from the enemy's schemes. Persist in prayer until you receive the breakthrough and clarity needed to overcome the obstacles hindering your calling. Remember the promise in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. Despite the challenges and struggles you may face in fulfilling your calling, God's plans for your life remain steadfast and secure. Trust in His faithfulness and rely on His strength to navigate the obstacles along the path of your divine destiny. Number 9. Ungodly Dreams and Visions Odi often communicates with his people through dreams and visions, using them to convey messages of peace, guidance, and insight into the future. These divine revelations are characterized by their alignment with God's will and their ability to inspire faith and hope. However, when dreams and visions are tainted by fear, darkness, or immorality, it is a clear indication that the enemy is launching an attack on your soul. The devil's primary aim in instigating ungodly dreams and visions is to sow seeds of fear and doubt in your heart, leading you away from the protection and peace found in Jesus Christ. By infiltrating your subconscious with negative imagery and disturbing scenarios, he seeks to undermine your faith and confidence in God's sovereignty. If you find yourself plagued by ungodly dreams and visions, it is essential to recognize them as spiritual attacks and seek refuge in the power of God. Only through His divine intervention can the hold of darkness over your mind be broken and the peace and clarity of God's presence restored. Turn to God in prayer, asking Him to guard your mind and spirit against the enemy's schemes and to fill your dreams and visions with His light and truth. 
Remember the promise found in Psalm 23. 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Rest assured that God is with you even amid spiritual warfare, and His presence is a source of strength and protection against the attacks of the enemy. Additionally, saturate your mind with the Word of God, filling your thoughts with His promises and truths. By immersing yourself in Scripture and meditating on His Word, you fortify your spirit against the influence of ungodly dreams and visions, allowing the light of God's truth to dispel the darkness of the enemy's lies. Number 10. Persistent Negative Thoughts and Self-Doubt The mind serves as a battleground where spiritual warfare unfolds, and the devil is keenly aware of this reality. One of his most insidious tactics is to inundate your mind with negative thoughts and feelings of self-doubt. These toxic whispers can lead you to question your worth, your abilities, and even your standing with God. Thoughts such as, I'm not good enough, God doesn't love me, or I'll never succeed, are all arrows aimed at undermining your faith and diverting your attention from God's truth. If you find yourself locked in a constant struggle against these negative thoughts, it is a telltale sign that the enemy is launching an attack on your mind. His goal is to erode your confidence, weaken your resolve, and ultimately separate you from the truth of God's word. However, you must not succumb to these lies. Counteract the enemy's onslaught by anchoring your thoughts in the truth of God's word. Philippians 4, 8 provides a powerful exhortation. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. By deliberately focusing your mind on what is honorable and uplifting, you can silence the enemy's lies and cultivate a mindset grounded in God's promises. Remind yourself of your identity in Christ and the unshakable love that God has for you. Reject the negative narratives the enemy tries to impose on your mind, and instead embrace the truth of your worth and significance as a beloved child of God. Fill your thoughts with affirmations of God's faithfulness, His power to transform, and His unwavering presence in your life. Moreover, engage in spiritual disciplines such as prayer, meditation, and fellowship with other believers to strengthen your spiritual resilience and fortify your mind against the enemy's attacks. Surround yourself with uplifting influences and immerse yourself in the truth of God's Word, allowing His promises to shape your perspective and guard your heart against the onslaught of negativity and doubt. If you notice these signs in your life, Breaking free from them requires a profound reconnection with your Creator. When faced with the devil's attacks, some may turn away from God or seek solace in human solutions. However, this is not the path to liberation. Instead, humble yourself before God and return to Him in repentance and surrender. God the Almighty has bestowed upon His Son a name that surpasses all others. In the powerful name of Jesus, Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. By reuniting with your Maker, the devil's influence will inevitably crumble before the majesty and authority of God. He is the unwavering rock on which you can rely, steadfast and unchanging. Even if you find yourself ensnared by old habits and struggles, do not despair. Jesus accepts you just as you are, without judgment or shame. He eagerly desires to liberate you from the oppressive grip of the enemy and lead you into freedom and wholeness. By turning to God and embracing His saving grace, you invite His divine intervention into your life, breaking the chains of bondage and dispelling the darkness of the enemy's oppression. Trust in God's unfailing love and mercy, knowing that He alone holds the power to deliver you from every snare and stronghold of the enemy. Another crucial step towards breaking free from the enemy's influence is to reconnect with the church and nurture godly relationships. The devil often seeks to isolate individuals from the supportive community of believers, 
but you must resist this isolation by actively engaging with the church. Seek the care, encouragement, and prayers of fellow believers who understand your struggles and are ready to support you in your journey toward liberation. Additionally, cultivate friendships with godly individuals who will continually lead you toward righteousness and help you navigate the challenges you face. Furthermore, submit yourself under the guidance of godly spiritual authority, such as pastors or mentors. While you have God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit dwelling within you, having a spiritual covering over your life provides additional support, mentorship, and accountability. Loyalty to these spiritual leaders will make it difficult for the devil to attack as they will recognize signs of danger and provide guidance to help you navigate spiritual warfare. In addition to seeking support from the church and spiritual authority, it is essential to tame your desires and walk in the spirit. Recognize that the devil preys on desires and vulnerabilities, seeking to capitalize on any opportunity to strike. By cultivating a lifestyle of spiritual alertness and standing firm against the devil's schemes, you can resist temptation and overcome his attacks. Ephesians 6.12, 13 reminds us that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of evil. Therefore, clothe yourself with the full armor of God, including the word of God in prayer. Invest time in studying God's word, allowing its transformative power to permeate your soul and provide strength against the enemy's assaults. Back your study with fervent prayer, seeking the guidance and empowerment of the Holy Spirit in every aspect of your life. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude for the wisdom and understanding you have granted us through your word. Thank you for unveiling the signs of spiritual attacks and equipping us with the knowledge to overcome them. We declare that from this moment onward, the enemy holds no power over us for we are covered by the authority and victory established in Jesus Christ. Lord, we acknowledge our shortcomings and repent of any ways in which we have strayed from your commands. We ask for your forgiveness and deliverance from the grasp of the enemy. Renew our spirits, O Lord, and restore unto us the joy of your salvation. Let your light shine within us, dispelling all darkness and setting us free from every chain that binds us. Teach us, O Lord, to tame our desires and align them with your will. Help us to surrender our impulses to you and seek your guidance in every decision we make. May we yield our bodies as instruments of righteousness, wholly surrendered to your divine purpose. Lord, grant us a hunger and thirst for your word. Empower us to diligently study and meditate on your teachings so that we may be equipped with the full armor of God and fortified against the attacks of the enemy. Shield us with your truth, righteousness, peace, faith, salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. We commit our dreams and visions to your hands, trusting that you will guide us and reveal your plans and purposes for our lives. Let your Holy Spirit be our constant companion and guide, leading us into all truth and righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Father, I come before you pleading for the sanctification of my mind and the purification of my dreams and visions. Let no evil apparitions or unholy scenes infiltrate my thoughts or distort your divine purposes for my life. Crucify my old habits and lifestyles, Lord, and empower me to walk in the newness of life according to your will. I surrender myself fully under your divine covering, Lord, trusting in your protection and guidance. I renounce all struggles to fulfill your calling for my life and choose instead to place my complete trust in you. You have chosen me and I am confident that you will glorify yourself in my life. Please reveal any hidden loopholes or vulnerabilities in my life, Lord, and fortify them with your divine protection. Make me a formidable adversary to the enemy's schemes, empowered by your spirit to overcome every obstacle. Guard my prayer life, Lord, and keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning brightly within me. May my communion with you never waver, and may I continually abide in your presence. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing and answering my prayers. In your precious name, 
I pray amen. If this message has touched your heart, please show your support by liking and subscribing to this channel for more uplifting messages from the Lord. Until next time, may God bless you abundantly.